guys welcome back so today is officially the beginning of month three of my tretinoin isotretinoin architane journey honestly skin is looking good except for the discoloration obviously but we've already talked about so much i don't even want to like go too much into that i just came from my doctor's appointment and yeah this is how the skin is looking i know it's a little set, different setup today but like look that's super clear on this side i have one minor pimple here it's very minor and it's like gonna go away in a few days and a lot of scarring um this side you know what i'll go to the bathroom and do this later but right now i'm actually doing the eye pledge program the comprehension questions that you have to do every month before you get a new prescription um so i thought it would be cool to show you guys what sort of questions to expect when you're doing these comprehension questions yeah so my doctor already did their part on their end so it triggers for me to do my part on this end and when i pass this comprehension questions that's when i can get my 30 day supply for my month three so let me show you the questions right now so pretty much oh is it gonna work there we go so pretty much like here you can see the first question says most women who get pregnant during isotretinoin treatment were using only one method of birth control i said true um is it okay to take isotretinoin when it's okay to take isotretinoin when you are using one effective method of birth control you are using two effective methods of birth control together correctly all the time if you may be pregnant i am choosing abstinence honestly so i don't know if that counts as this but just on the safe side they always always stress on the two effective methods so i chose that um the red cross calls you to give uh, to give blood during your first month after your last dose you tell them i cannot give blood until one month after my last dose of isotretinoin i can never give blood again so it's just one month after so i chose that your pharmacist can fill out fill and dispense your prescription after you phone in check in with ipledge program system to see if you can get isotretinoin you email in so obviously you have to check in in which is what i'm doing right now abstinence means that you commit to not having sex or sexual contact with any male 24 hours a day seven days a week one month before during and for the month after you isotretinoin treatment i said true which is what i'm doing and then you may keep your appointment every you must keep your appointment every month because it is important for you and your doctor to prescribe uh, wait it is important for you and your doctor prescriber to interact before you get a maximum 30 day supply of isotretinoin each month you need to sign a consent form each month you need to tell your doctor where to call in your prescription so obviously it's the first one because they need to check on you mentally physically whatever you're going through like to see if you're good to go for the next dosage so i chose that so those are my answers this month let's see if i pass i hope i pass i submit that questions are complete you may obtain your prescription at that time blah 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 oh, on february 21st blah 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 so i have one week to pick up my prescription if i miss this window that's it it's done i have to wait a whole other month before i can do this all over again that's how strict it is so with that said i just thought it would be super like interesting to show you when i talk about the eye pledge program what it does and what to expect on that and that's pretty much the gist of it so yeah i'm excited month three we're looking good let me go in the bathroom right now and show you my skin and give you like an update of how we're starting month three all right guys so it's month three of my treadmill journey so i already showed you the eye pledge thing that i just did uh, i'm gonna pick up my prescription later today as of now i just wanted to come in here and show you the status of my skin month three um i think we're looking pretty good on this side i'm no complaints a little bit dark marks here still but that will fade over time uh forehead i think it's a little better than last time when i showed you guys i have a pimple here but i feel like that's gonna go away pretty much very soon um pretty much clear on this side just like a little bit of scarring but that's gonna go away my doctor looked at me today and she's like oh my god your skin looks so good you're glowing obviously she sees the dark, dark cast on my face and she gave me some tinted sunscreens she said it might help like block some of the 
girl i don't know she just gave me some tinted sunscreens to try and i'm excited to try them i hope they match because you know a girl is a very very rich in this chocolate so i don't know these tinted moisturizers i've never tried but i've never had i've not had good things about it just based on the color match and stuff so hopefully this works out i also raised my concern about me not being extra extra dry and i told her like i don't feel extra extra dry but that's because i always uh, over moisturizer like even pre pre acutane i always over moisturize my body that's just how i like to do it so she's like that's fine if you're not having the dryness as long as the, it's working we're gonna take it because if anyone comes in and they complain like over dryness and stuff the solution is just to moisturize so if you're already doing that and you're not getting extra dry so you're doing a good job basically so yeah because i was kind of worried like is it I might not absorbing it the way it should but yet again it's working so maybe i'm just doing a great great job at moisturizing everything so i take that as a win i told her that like month two honestly when we bumped it up to 80 i was kind of worried that the symptoms are gonna be like crazy crazy but to be honest the constipation is completely gone old news the bloody stool is gone old news um i still feel like muscle ache but then again i work out four to five times a week so i'm always kind of like muscle achy so it's not it's not the, like bad that I can't do anything. It's just like I noticed it's a little bit up there. Um, of obviously, she looked at that the discoloration on my face, and she said, "Yeah, that's gonna go away once I stop taking the medication." But as of now, we're just trying to minimize it with the sunscreen as much as possible. Ooh, 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 ooh. I almost forgot. I actually almost forgot, and I'll be so mad at myself. So the only difference that I saw in month two is my skin has become very, very like brittle, like all over my body is brittle. Like some little thing will just scratch me. Like something that is not even supposed to be like scratchable will scratch me. Like if I just like bang myself on the door, it will be, be like a scratch, and it will leave like a mark. Like I have like all this marking on my hands. Like look at that. That's just I don't know how I scratch myself there. I don't know how I scratch myself there. I don't know how I scratch myself there. Um, there was something on my finger, but I think that faded off. Uh, here, like I'm just, especially on my arms, uh, hands, like I scratch super, super easy. But then it's not a big deal. It's not like it's not crazy. And I just try to be extra careful. And that is to be expected. That is one of the symptoms because your skin is like super, super on high turnover. I guess that's why it's like that. But that should resolve itself when I'm done taking the medication. Yeah. But I wanted to come and give you guys an update. Like the skin becomes like a little brittle, so just be careful. And the fact that I'm walking out, walking out outside, rolling on the floor, rolling on the ground, obviously I'm gonna get scratches. So, but I noticed that mostly on my hands. Yeah. So man, too honestly, I'm just gonna say that there it was like a. It's been a breeze, honestly. I'm not even gonna lie. It's just been a breeze. And I'm hoping for month three, four, and five to be the same, so we can be done with this and move on with the life to clear skin and just like good vibes. So, yeah, that's all I got. I don't know if there'll be any much updates on month three unless something major, major happens. Honestly, because oh, why lie? The skin is looking good. The skin is looking good. So I don't know what else I'll come up here to update. But if anything pops up, anything different, I'll come back and update you guys on month um three if anything happens um so i'll see you guys